and we're live. We are live. We are live. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We're on it. Right, we're on it. We're on it. I haven't formally introduced ourselves. We are four PEs in a pod. Right, let's introduce our guest today. You can hear him giggling in the background. Um, he is our school vice captain, Kent under 18s, and recently Kent under 20s, and a South East England representative. Um, I'm sure you'll work out over the course of this episode. He is quite a funny character. Um, I don't like to say that to his face, but welcome, Josh Watson. That's why it's all. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is where it says in the script. It says, how Josh are you? Talk, Josh, Josh, how, I, says, how are we, Josh? Where is this? <laughs> Reading's not one of Josh's strong <laughs> words, as we'll come to find <laughs> how out. How are we, Josh? Yeah, I'm good. Lovely to be here. Yeah, oh, good. Good. Oh, that, oh, that is a good see? start. That's yeah. excellent. <laughs> Anything else, Josh? Anything happened this week? Anything exciting? Uh, no, not really. Good, excellent. Okay, we'll, get right. that, we'll move on then. This could be a quick one. <laughs> this could be a quick one. Oh, I, hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this snippet. Yep. Um, uh, so we'll go for the weekly roundup. Um, we'll come on to in more detail later because we've had two very big events. Basketball out shining rugby at the moment. Um, and yeah, so we'll come on to this. Um, we had Roslyn Park for the under 18s, the under 14s and the under 16s. Um, we'll come to that in a little more depth. The main news is the basketball boys, the under 16s and under 18s. The under 16s won the Kent Cup and the under 18s won the Kent League. And here I've just got lost the badminton. <laughs> <laughs> we got knocked out of the cup. Yeah, Mr. Stanley, yeah. you, you, you said something about that. We got knocked uh, out. The Colchester. Yeah, Colchester. Colchester Quite yeah. strong. But yeah. Josh, uh, we recently found out that you're very talented at table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Oh yeah, what happened? What happened the other week? Oh. It was a, it was my first game in a, in a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was a bit rusty. Classic, yeah. And obviously, Mr. Stock plays a lot. I feel it. Like, yeah, he's never not playing. No, <laughs> no. Always up there. You won't see me not playing some table tennis. <laughs> Always in there. He's even got a table tennis bat in his hand now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like Forrest Gump, doesn't he? <laughs> It? Oh, <laughs> he does actually. Yeah, that could be the that could be the thumbnail for next week. Yeah. <laughs> Neil Neil Forrest Gump. Gump. <laughs> <laughs> sort that one out. Well, I'm out. I'm off for a run. <laughs> um, good start, guys. Um, oh, Josh, we we'll asked you a couple of questions here. You've already alluded to some of your answers already, so I'm excited about this. Um, you, as comfortable and as as ingrained as you are at GGS, you were not a. Um, a grazing grammar school student through seven to eleven, were you? No. Um, so, please tell us what it's been like coming to a, a new environment and a completely different, a completely different place. Well, it was quite easy to come into school with the rugby. Where were you before? Wilmington Grammar, which didn't have any rugby. Mm. So I decided to move to Gravesend, uh, and then I got quite close to the rugby team quite quickly, even after pre-season. In the first in the first summer, um, so that was easy. But I didn't really come out of my shell, I'd say, until like the end of the year twelve, just because I didn't actually know anyone moving schools. Would you say you're fully out of your shell now? Yeah. yeah. This is the this is, this is a hundred percent Josh Watson. Yeah, I'd say that. If you were one of the teenage mutant hero turtles coming out of shell, which one would you be? That's a great question. Which one would you be? Um. The orange, Michelangelo. Mm. I don't know her name. The orange one. Why? Like pizza. I like orange. I like orange. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the next question. Go yeah. on, you go. Or you so, can make your own questions up. No, we we'll stick with the script. I mean, <laughs> don't just <laughs> uh, very much. Very much so. So, as we know, the podcast is it, it's gonna you know start reviewing, start getting more views, and it's gonna get out there. Is it? Well, yeah, after this one. After this. After this. <laughs> so there may be some people who are obviously when they go on to you know the the Grays and Grammar School YouTube site to look at the GGS Prospectus video. They'll see four PEs in a pod. Um, and they might think, oh, give that a listen. So if there are people who are thinking of coming here, Josh, what um, what can you give other students about some experiences and how you fell the school would, uh, has suited you as a person? And, and what why should people be coming here to, to GGS? Firstly, what? Because uh, everyone's really nice, and I think if you come here, you open, you have to do everything, talk to people, 
go to weekly things like clinics or sports um, and then yeah you'll be alright open your shell like I did open your shell do you mean come out your shell and, and you, no, you think you I think, think okay. <laughs> Look, well this is off and running so <laughs> Josh as we know in sports environments there are energy sappers and energizers there are radiators and there are drains and what we mean is people give energy or people take energy from a group you i would like to think give energy to a group and we've witnessed that <clears throat> throughout the course of this season throughout the course of this year um firstly how what, what do you think the role is of someone who who provides that energy to an environment is i'd like to think i give energy how do you give energy i make people laugh while working hard in the envi right environment so when we do a little 20 minute warm-ups before a game yes it's you're on it because we're about to play a game, but you can have a little giggle just to take people's nerves away. Do you know what I mean? Can you give an example of that? Uh, the, the one that stands out for me is the Maidstone game. Do you remember when we were playing over at the club and someone ran the length oh, of the yeah. field and you were jogging back from halfway line imitating Raymond? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was rated, that was rated the moment of the year, the, um, the Maidstone game. Was it? And Dino's try. We haven't had the athletes ball yet. We don't know what the moment oh, of the year is. I'm putting a little teaser out there. No, you're not. You're just That's signing over the wall. That's not easy. Just, uh, yeah, you just told everyone. This is what happens when you lose your script. You completely yeah. go off passage. Yeah. Script so you, you, do you think it would work if everyone had that same sort of personality in the team? No. You'd have introverts Even, and extroverts. But do, you, do you think we've got a good balance of that this year? Uh, more, more so last year, I'd say. With, within that, so people have got all different personalities, is anyone... Of those personality types, don't don't mention names. Oh, names. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need names. We don't need names. So no, what sort sorry. of personality type? Because <laughs> individually, you might turn around to someone and say you're an energy sapper, but people might not understand why they're an energy sapper. But if you can name certain personality traits that you, for you think you think are personality traits, uh, I think people who are negative tell me about the squad and. Maybe some of the coaching staff as well. I think saps the energy. You being one of the, do you think you've grown into that sort of person over this year? So was you, was, do you think you was the energy giver last year as you are this year? Or no, you, definitely no? not. If we take okay. it back to like the Maidstone first game, yeah. I'm a lot. I was a lot more introverted than I was now, and I would never have thought I would be captaining the team in okay. certain games. So what? So has given you responsibility made you more of of that type of person uh, or is it something that you felt as though just actually just as a as the season's developed i think it's a lot about it's a lot about confidence so obviously all you lot tell me how good i am all the time and then you give me the opportunity to be a captain so i think okay and then i sort of run with it and then it went well i suppose my captaincy yeah what would you say yeah, your uh, key like skills but leadership do you have any positivity yeah that's literally it I, whenever someone drops the ball you just keep going keep going play again I never said anything negative when I was a captain mm. no I, I could agree with that what other sort of apart from just li just positivity then what other sort of leadership qualities or skills do you think makes a good leader I think someone who knows the game very well I think you, you need to have a lot of rugby experience to make the right decision in the right areas of the field. For example, when, when you're going to go for a scrum or kick to touch, which I think I, I have I've played rugby for a long time. Mm. So coming away from rugby, can there, can there things that you apply to be a good leader as a rugby person? Can you apply those things to be a good leader outside of the sport? So if you was to become a, a head of department in PE or something like that, what sort of things could you apply to that leadership role? Is there things you can take from the rugby pitch to real life situations to still be a leader? Well, yeah, positivity. I think it's all about being positive. If, as soon as someone's negative, it just gets everyone else down and it doesn't work. Is that, just, is that just on the pitch for rugby or is it? No, everywhere. Yeah. If everyone's positive, positive yeah. like usually in this office, everyone's positive, 
And that's why the vibe's just so good in it. Oh, right. Well, we like it. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 but and it's your favourite place in the school. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the best thing is, is last two weeks we've had um, Midday and Jess who have yeah. aspirations for to play an elite sport or or want to go into elite sport. Um, just wants a career in sort of F1, the athletics, <coughs> and Midday just wants to, wants to be a rugby player. Your ambitions and use of rugby is slightly different to that, which I think is a good contrast to it. So what do you think your future is going to be in rugby? Well, I've always just played rugby for fun. I've always loved rugby, and I just have seemed to do quite well and getting a lot of extra things apart from school and club. So I've never really had a plan for rugby. I just play it, and I have fun, and I just keep playing, and that's literally it. Which I think is a great mindset to have, a great outlook to have. And where do you think that will take you possibly in the future? Or are you just waiting and waiting? Wait I don't know, but all, I just want to be having fun. Mm. If I, As soon as rugby becomes a job or a chore, like I wake up and I, I don't want to go, then, I'll, I'll, then, it's, then it won't go well for me. It's really interesting because Jess was on last week and she was talking about having that sports, excuse me, sports psychologist come in and talk about not taking it so seriously when she was a youngster mm. and maybe she took it a bit too seriously whereas you've already got that sort of mindset that a student that um, a psychologist is kind of talking about already where it's just go and play enjoy it see what happens and yeah she spoke a lot about perspective didn't she yeah. putting things into perspective well I'm just I'm just lucky enough to be decent so I just played to a high level and then yeah I'm just keeping having fun so talk to us about how Kent under 20s and what was that experience like? Uh, yeah, so my first time playing with adults, mm. sex adults under 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I s started for Kent under 20s. Uh, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. I did. I thought there'd be more of a step up from under 18s, but right. it wasn't really. They, they were quite, it was fine. And the scrums were fine. Uh, I scored. Nice. Well done, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. We'll put like a little, we're yeah. looking for a sound aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. a sound board. Um, no, but that might be due to sponsor. some of the work that you're doing in the gym, some of the stuff you've done this year, that you're able to hold your own in the scrum. Yeah. Can you talk us through your try? Was it like length of field? No, no, I just smashed in from like five metres yeah. out. Good yeah, prop try. Just exactly yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah. good Josh Watson try that. We had a couple of them this year, but it has been a good lie. Yeah, it's been a good line. You yeah. don't just run straight, it is good. Footwork and agility is definitely one of your strong suits. Amazing stuff. Should we come on to our Roslyn Park full roundup? Should give the viewers a bit more of an insight into Roslyn Park, Mr. Catworth? Yeah. Um, but we do have a timestamp on this. Okay, well, you can start then, uh, Mr. Stock. As, as it was Time's ticking. As it was your team, the under 14s that the. The 18s went first. Well, the 18s went first. Um, played really well, actually, the 18s. Um, drew, uh, drew against. Or drew Malvern College in the first game. Who mm. uh, last year we beat quite convincingly in the in the second day. This year not so much. Um, they were very good, very yeah. good. And they actually went on to win the pool, their elimination, and come third in their yeah. day two. They were they were a very good side. They 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 won yeah they, yeah they they got to the semis. They got into they? the quarters or the semis of the actual. Yeah, uh, so they were, they were very good. But yeah, then we went on to two our next two pool games. Play some really good sevens, um, and actually showed where we are as a as a senior squad that we're just just below that top level. Mm. Um, winning both those games, scoring eighty or eighty points in eighty plus points in two games, and conceding I think it's ninety. Mm. Um, so it shows you it is it is very much a luck of the draw, very much a luck of the draw. Also quite promising bearing in mind there's one year 13 yeah yeah, yeah. we saw so i spoke to the boys a, a, a little bit in terms of um you know we've got to look at it as a whole and we only had joel kane was our only year 13 who went um the rest were all all year 12s and one year 11 actually. yeah um so looking ahead when we get onto the under 16s i think we're gonna yeah. be strong um in the next two years in terms of our seven program the under 14s, I took. Um, Michelle's had a whole week at Rotherham Park. <coughs> oh, he's, didn't had a great, he's had a great week. Um, so, my under 14s are they're, they're, they're a little bit newer to rugby. There's not so many players, but boys that play club, they obviously missed their year seven. Um, missed their year seven year, which is quite a key year for development. And they've sort of been playing catch up and they've worked very hard to get um, to where they are now. Um, they're a very good 15 side, but I think sevens highlights. Um, a lot of skills and I think especially some of our handling stuff 
has improved and improved and improved but might be just below where it sometimes needs to be but my favorite bit was that from the first game and I, to be fair to us we probably could have won all the games but we didn't we lost but from the first game to the last game and even from the first kent sevens game that we played the improvement was so 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 dramatic and we finished the second half of our second game really really well and then we started the first half of our first game really really well and the boys were as, as i'm sure they were for every other day they were absolutely amazing yeah and they they kept on going they kept that positivity that josh was talking about earlier yeah um as a group they are <clears throat> they're a pleasure to have around but they really really worked on improving throughout the day and they listened and they and they bought in and they will learn a lot and go 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 far because of it. Lots more for them. Lots more for them. The sixteen. Under sixteen, Mr. Mr. Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Your first was it your first experience of Rosin? Was it Park? was. I was. Yeah. yeah I was. Yeah, amazing experience. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Quite but nice flags up there as well, Mr. Robinson. Good flags. Good yeah. Flags. Good yeah. Flags. Good flags. Look out Instagram. <laughs> there, Rosin Park Instagram had the same picture that I sent you. It looked good because yeah. it was. How many I have flags? Like flags. Yeah. flags. How many flags? How many photos of flags? Photos of flags. Yeah, everywhere I go. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the name <laughs> on it. I've got it. Right. I, flag. I hope you take some pictures of our flags. Yeah, people have got to follow Instagram now. Too, yes. Yeah. You didn't even put it on there. I bet did you? Oh. I did. I did look for our Instagram last night. A bit of a plug. <clears throat> it looks very good. I've got, I sort of scrolled through the whole thing and just looked at it as a whole as, as someone would be. Yeah. It looks very impressive. So well done, Mr. Stanley. Well done, Mr. Stanley on the uh, social media. And all the kids, I suppose, oh, for doing all the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but in no, sixteens, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, squad of four, I think, year tens in it. Yep. So that's you know that's absolutely really good for the future. Lost the first game to Haleybury, thirty-two-seven, which was a shame because had that have been close, they they were a better team than us. We've got to put our hands up there. Had that been closer, we could have possibly given ourselves a better chance to progress as one of the the next best losers because we went on to uh, to nil. Uh, who was it? Uh, uh, Downs End School yeah. and Clist Vale College. Um, we nilled them both, and we and ended up getting a sort of net positive fifty five. I don't remember points. that. That's incredible. Um, yeah. It's all written down. I've yeah. <laughs> got the stats here. But like we, plus 55. Amazingly, the, the two best losers that went through <clears> out of the hundreds of schools that were there got a positive 88. So they've lost one game and then in two games they've, they've got it's a cool. positive yeah. 88 points difference. So had we not have lost that first game by so much, we would have had a better chance. Seems to be, shame, but seems to be a running... A running a Plug this and see if we can go. It seems to be a running theme that we, you know, it's quite, a, quite, it's quite a journey for us in the morning yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the bigger schools, obviously, they, you know, they Just stay, stay overnight. So, yeah, so yeah, if <laughs> anyone, if anyone is listening, that would like to sponsor next season's sevens um, in session. Um, yeah, you know, travel lodge fancy giving yeah. a couple of rooms <laughs> because it is, seems to be that our first game after our long journey up there around the M25 and we sit in a lot of traffic. You know, we're, we're slow to get off the bus, so maybe a night. Night before, stay over with a spa. <laughs> <laughs> I said spa, spa would uh, would help. So if there's anyone out there knows those people, please do get in touch. We're we're extremely proud of all, all of them. Yeah. Any three age groups are excellent. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah. Very good. The future um, is bright. Yeah. So I'm trying to hold this off as long as I can before we start talking about the Kent champions. I thought. Mr. Tong will be in here to have a chat about this. There's no basketball. So no, there's no basketball, basketball, so he's just not just, turned up. Really um, hardest working man in the school. I'm yeah. looking over at his desk full of trophies. So yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, 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 he seems to have his own uh, trophy cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is great. Which, is which, great. which, we, which we are working towards but, as a rugby and yeah, definitely yeah, a netball, yeah, net, netball head and cricket. But we can't, we can't, we can't come away from the, the amazing job that all of those boys have done. They work hard. Yeah, they work hard. Very hard. I, I was lucky enough to go and watch it. Took the uh, took the supporters bus supporters where the boys bus, were yeah. amazing as usual. Um, and even though it was a bit cagey for a final, I think definitely their semi final was a bit more. I think the boys attacked a lot more and, and shoot more frees definitely. Yep, um, but it did feel a bit more cagey. But I think that was just because of the pressure of being in a in a final. But they were they've been outstanding all year. Uh, big Chi Rice. She rice, MVP as per rice. usual. Yeah, and Olu. 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 I was there. It was uh, yeah, Big Chi Rice MVP. Olu was outstanding. Um, Brian, 
Brian um, really good, was yeah. a menace when he got on to, for for defence. Thought um, Kofi looked really good in that semi final. Yeah, good. Kofi was was just Kofi. I think we just know leads. One. Um, leads from the front and uh, yeah they you could tell it meant a lot I think especially yeah. to Mr Tom yeah you know he, we know we've seen on, on Mr Stanley's you know Instagram he's it's quite not my Instagram well it's not okay Mr Stanley is the influencer, the influencer. Yeah, right, we've yeah, seen right, yeah, we've seen like on that, Instagram that. Mr Tom does you know gets a bit am- animated doesn't he or um, well, what I might do if this goes on YouTube yeah if this goes on YouTube I can actually yeah, clip the yeah, video yeah he really. gets quite animated when he coaches but um, even at the end you could tell that he, he you know it meant a lot to him that's um, good yeah, it was fantastic. Fantastic work from the boys. Excellent. So, well, sadly, he's not here to, to talk about it. We nah. will get, well, maybe we'll have him on as a guest one day. One day would be a good guest. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll and we'll try and get some of the basketball boys on because <coughs> yeah. see if Miss Tong lets them out. Um, I just want to come back to Josh. Josh, what we haven't asked you, what's your plans post A levels? Um, I'm looking at going to Brown University for a scholarship mm. uh, to study. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> well, we hope you're not studying. Yeah, going to go there. Well, what, study, study, what to study, Josh? Yeah. What would you oh, like right. to study? Yeah. Uh, it's more specific. He right? <laughs> does. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sport, That's really funny. Though. Sports management coaching slash like sports science okay. sort of thing. Hmm. Good. That's good. And what and what what do you hope that takes you to in the future? Um, ideally, I want to be a P teacher. Oh, who oh, said that? Influence. Five P's yeah, five P's, five P's, in, P's a in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> What's made you just want to go into PE teaching? How great you guys oh. are. Oh. Yeah. There's a reason we say that. Right, no, we got that. We're coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll that that and thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that? So what, what, what specifically? Come on, go a bit further into your, um, into your positivity. What specifically do you think has, has um, motivated you to become a PE teacher? Um, well, I've, I've watched a lot of PE lessons that Mr. Patworth's done, and it, and it, it looks good. And I feel like it he's, looks good. He's, he's doing a good job. And you know you'll get along very well in here. Seems like you have a, a good day every day. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, interesting. Do you say it's about the people you work with just as much as? Uh, yeah, to an extent. Like with rugby, about the people you play with. Yep, yep. It matters a lot. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, it's good to know that there's more people up and coming. I think yeah. we've got a couple of couple of boys. Couple of boys. boys that, that yeah. fancy um, coming into PE teaching. So there might be an interview with three or four. Oh. Three or four rugby or lads. We could do it live. Um, or, or anyone. <laughs> we could do, do that it live. Do the interviews live on when the pod. Was, yeah, absolutely. Why not? Um, cool. Very cool. Um, so let's, should we just round up yeah, with what's I've coming up What's coming term? up? Because this is obviously the last pod of the term. This is the last, last pod, pod of the pod term. Of the term. Um, As, quick, quickly, what, what, what are you doing over half term? Oh, go- Easter, sorry. I'm, I'm going to uh, to Scotland. Amazing. What are you doing, Mr Robinson? I'm going to Norfolk. Amazing. Where are you going, Mr Stanley? Uh, I'm going skiing with the school, actually. Amazing. Where are you going, Josh? Go to Brighton for a couple of days. Oh, oh lovely. Okay. So next term, um, okay. cricket. Talk to you about that. You, yeah. can, you can talk about that. Yeah, I'm getting involved in that. Moving on. Rally. Um, rally, <laughs> no, yeah. We are, we are, well, we are. I, am, I am training to be um, the bag man for the... But you uh, are also training to be yeah. a, a cricket coach. A cricket coach. Well. It, I'm very, you know, I, I admit cricket is not my we've had, strongest strongest sport. We've, but, had the year se- we've had the year sevens in this week. Yeah. We've been practising and getting ready for their first game against Dartford. Oh. We've had... The seniors coming in tonight, actually, because it's Thursday, and then we've got the year Nets 10s start. and the year 9s. Nets have been Nets. starting over the last couple of weeks, oh. and then when we get back, we're, we're fully into the schedule, so yeah. that's that's exciting. Um, Mr. Shells is, is starting the athletics. Yep. A lot of interest. A lot of interest in that, yeah. which, which is great. Golf Kent Championships. Yep, I've signed everyone up to that. Mr. Yeah. Robinson, if you, need, if you need a caddy. But I've, I've, I think I've designated caddy? myself to... Not, not, good. not fancy a bit of golf, Josh. Not a bit of golf. No, 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 no. no. Why? One that it looks like. really easy, but it's really hard. Well, the, the athlete's ball, we'll plug the athlete's ball again, which is now uh, black ne- tie. Nearly sold out. Yeah. Nearly sold out. Black tie. No, it's not nearly um, sold out. It is, it is. It's, it's getting, yeah, but not, I don't want people to buy now. I know, keep buying. Panic, keep, yeah. It's not, it's nearly yeah, sold out. <laughs> it's nearly sold out, but it's not nearly sold out where you have to panic to buy it, but it is nearly sold out. You do have to panic. But you do have to panic. So buy, buy now. Just buy, buy it. it. Panic. Buy just go yeah. and get it. Um, black tie. Um, speak to who's leading on the black tie. Midday is oh, got Midday. some form of black tie. He wants to wear a denim, <laughs> denim jacket, jacket doesn't he? which I don't think is going to go down. Have you picked out your outfit, Josh? Well, I'm debating whether I'm going to wear a bow tie or the first team tie. Ooh. Considering it's an athlete's ball, I was thinking we should all wear the first team tie. Oh, now but see. then you've gone for a black tie, so yeah. they're thinking, oh, do we wear bow ties? Well, you. Could, well, yeah. well, I'm thinking you've got to wear the first team tie. 
maybe all your like colours. It right? would be. It would. It, I think as a as a leader, you can make that decision mm. with the leadership group for the rugby team and. Make sure you're all in one. We'd um, love to get bow tie. We imagine we Gigi's bow tie. Well, Mr. Great, Robinson has has, cool. it has yeah, found, I found it. I found one. I'll, I'll share it with everybody. And I'll show you now. But um, I'll try and share it out. It's on Amazon, isn't it? What else is coming up next term? Hopefully, the sun. Some uh, may come out. Some may come out. Which some may nice. come up. That'd be great, wouldn't it? That's um, not on the script. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why, um, why wouldn't the sun come out? So hopefully the sun, the sun no, always out. comes out, but hopefully the which sun means we shines. Get, which means we can get some, you know, <laughs> some more activity going on outside. Um, culture segment. Right, so the last thing then, Josh, we like to finish <clears> on, a, on a bit of a culture segment. So I'm going to read exactly, just so you don't get lost and you have time to process it and answer it. Exactly Sim- what's on simple, No, no, right, it's simpler than that. Simplify okay. that. It's rude. <laughs> what do you think about the culture we drive here as a it, GGS athlete? That, yeah, we're trying to make it. Sh- Why have you just put this massive long paragraph as a question? This paragraph, right? I'll read this long paragraph to you. <coughs> you Josh, said keep it simple. What do you think it is about the culture we drive as a GGS athlete that has meant we have had success for students academically and in sport? That paragraph. You said I, keep it simple. I think. The way that you integrate the older years with the younger <coughs> helps a lot. Mm. The fact that a lot of boys go up to coach and your a lot of the boys follow the social media, so they all keep up to date with the sport. And like kit, people from like year seven to year ten that I don't know come up to me and go and say you're, you're right, yeah, you're the rugby boy and all that. So yeah, you are the rugby boy. The I'm rugby the rugby boy. boy. Okay. <laughs> Which reminds me, we had seventy. Oh, yes. six oh, yeah. 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 Mr. The coaching program, yeah, no, yeah. I should have pushed it, yeah. So uh taking that on board and from your comments, the coaching program has started to grow. We had eighty, I think to be precise, eighty well up my stats, eighty one primary school uh, pupils, um twelve <coughs> of our senior coaches um involved in arranging a festival for them. Um, and hopefully that's something that's going to grow and we can, as a school, and our senior pupils can grow the game of rugby throughout Gravesham. Amazing. And then hopefully that feeds through to people playing more in, in schools and Absolutely. possibly in our school. Great. Amazing yeah. stuff, guys. Thanks, we're thanks, out. For well, in. thanks for giving up your morning, Josh. Yep. We thank have you. form in six minutes' Mix. time. Hey. So More coffee. Thank you very more much. Coffee. And we'll see you all. Have a great Easter. Yeah. A yep. great Easter. Guys, enjoy your holidays and we'll see you after. Over and out.